I put pressure on myself too. The important piece is realizing when we're putting the pressure on ourselves and when we're getting overwhelmed and overstimulated and exhausted, asking ourselves, okay, why is this happening? Is this something that I really want to do that I feel strongly about? Am I doing it because I'm seeking validation from somebody else, somebody external outside of myself? We have to ask ourselves those questions because when we stop and ask ourselves those questions, we can tune in, we can check in, see if that's something that we really want to continue doing, whatever it is in question that we're putting pressure on ourselves for, or if it's something that we maybe decide to abandon. And that's okay too. If it's truly something that you want to continue to do, but you recognize that that pressure of doing it is causing you overwhelm and burnout, maybe it's that you need to balance that out with some more intentional self-care. The point is to be aware and mindful of the pressure that we put on ourselves and be examining what's working for us in the different seasons of life. When my kids have things like gymnastics and soccer and extracurriculars going on, I know I don't want to be cooking every night. I also just don't have the time to cook every night. And I want some of that time back for myself and so that I can spend it with my kids and my family. So I make the choice to release that pressure that I put on myself to cook every night and only cook three max four nights a week. Even tonight, I'm doing a repurposing of a meal where I am using some steak that I made late last week and I'm gonna repurpose it into some fajitas. You got this.